Happy, Happy Easter, Easter everyone. So here we are on the North Oxford. We're just on one of the old arms at the moment, um, which is just currently behind us. Um, in this episode, we're going to be showing you the installation of our solar panels. We're excited because we've been wanting to have solar panels installed for a while now. Uh, what we're looking for is to be able to charge the batteries when we're out cruising without running the engine. Yep. If you want to stay put for a, a few days somewhere, uh, the only other way to get your batteries charged is to run the engine and have them charged from the alternator. But uh, this will allow us to do it silently and cleanly and for free. For free. Once so, you've taken into account the cost of the installation, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Andy's been busy filming the installation and um, as you'll see, he'll talk you through each stage. Um, of it and then hopefully it'll help you if you're going to consider having your solar panels um, installed. We'd had a little rain overnight but the sun did come out and managed to dry things up quite nicely by the time our engineer arrived. When we had our batteries and the new inverter installed at Springwood Haven Marina, we told them that we would in the future be having solar panels installed. So to make life easier for us, they left two cables running from the battery management system into the cupboard where the inverter lives. The solar panels can't be connected directly to the battery management system. Instead, they must go through a separate charge controller. A maximum power point tracking controller was recommended. This makes the charging much more efficient. Our engineer installed this in our electrical cupboard first before he started to install the panels themselves. The first job was to remove the forwardmost mushroom air vent from the roof and replace it with a low profile flying saucer type. This would allow the solar panels to sit much more closely to the roof of the boat. Our engineer used a magnet to collect any bits of scurf that were created by drilling. By the air vent hole this stopped anything from dropping into the boat, but also he warned us that if he didn't do this, any bits of stray metal could cause havoc to our paintwork, which I didn't know about. We chose two of these 340 watt panels. So in theory a maximum 680 watts were at our disposal. Though the amount of amps that actually arrived at the batteries uh, would depend on quite a few factors. Um, not only the length of the cable run from the panels to the charge controller, but also the weather conditions. After making several careful measurements, the time came for the first of eight new holes to be drilled into the roof for the brackets that would hold the panels.
it, that's all right. We'll be able to tilt the panels towards the sun when it's lower in the sky in autumn and winter. This will help maximise the power we get from them. To make the connection from the solar panels to the charge controller, the thick cable running from the panels had to drop into the boat at some point. The neatest option was to make another hole in the roof of the boat, this time directly above the electrical cupboard at the back. After the cable had been run through, it was well sealed and finished with this waterproof plastic box. The weather on installation day was quite overcast, but when the sun did come out, at one point we were getting nearly 36 amps charge going in at the battery, which was very pleasing. So, if there's anything that we've missed, or you want to know any more information about anything, drop us a comment below, and then we'll do our best to answer it for you. Meanwhile, thanks very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in future episodes. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You do? Yeah. To check it is recording. Yes. That's good. Hmm. So, so, three, two, one. Action. Happy Easter everyone. Happy Easter. We're standing here by the old arm. Over there. Over there behind us. Um, and we're talking to you today about... And in this episode we're going to be showing you the solar panel installation that we have going on on the boat <laughs> at this precise boat in time. Uh, I've just and meanwhile, thanks very much for watching. Thank you for watching. We said that three times. <laughs> three times. Thank you. Thank you. I know I did. Thank you for watching. Should we do that again? Yeah.